Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. Okay guys, I got a nice, another uh, little ratchet pickup for you today. We have another uh, Proto, Stanley Proto ratchet here. This is a 3H drive. It does have the black oxide finish on it as well. And as you can see, it does have the uh, little bit of the gnarling on both sides of the uh, the handle. So that's a, a little bit different of a design there. So that's, that's kind of neat. Uh, it is a slim head design, as you can see right right through here, and uh, the the uh, reverse switch is recessed into it with the uh, the tab, like the very end of the tab is raised a little bit, so it's a little bit easier to get to. Now you do have the proto name stamped into the back of the head, and then on the other side of the ratchet, you do have the fifth uh, the model number for this is five four two nine. XL BL for the black, I guess. And this is USA, so it's USA made in uh, 3V, so I'm not really sure what that is. But it does have these uh, snap ring groove. That's the only thing holding it together. But these snap ring, the holes are a little bit smaller, so I had to use a finer pair of snap rings. So uh, usually the uh, larger snap ring pliers I usually use, but this one here, for whatever reason, the, uh, the snap ring, the holes in are a little bit smaller, so I had to use a finer pair of snap rings. Tooth count for this is 45 tooth count. So it's a, it's a kind of a coarse ratchet. It's in the middle between our super coarse and then you get in the area where it's a little bit finer. And it is a nine degree, nine degree arc, arc swing, I believe. Uh, let's get a socket and we'll test it on detent. So we'll just test it with... You know, one of these gear wrench sockets, and as you can see, it's it's a nice tight fit onto the uh, socket. Um, and the detent, nah, it's not too bad. Uh, the ball detent's pretty good. Uh, the wobble, there's not a whole lot of wiggle in the uh, anvil, so the anvil's, anvil's pretty tight. Uh, we'll just compare that to... Let's say this new uh, the Sunex ratchet that I just got. Just to uh, give you some kind of comparison uh, as far as that is. Head-wise, uh, they're kind of kind of about the same, but on the back of it, the, uh, it is a little bit, as you can see, it is a little bit smaller design. Uh, we'll get a length on this here real quick. And we're right around... Try to get this good here around eight eight and a quarter inches long so it's about eight and a quarter inches long and we're going to go ahead and i'll just open this thing up and we'll just take a quick look on the inside of it like i said i haven't opened this ratchet up yet so we'll just try to get inside and just take a little peek at it oh so here's your snap ring uh as you can see, there is a little bit of oil residue on the outside of that. And here's an interesting little design here on this uh, on this plate here. It's got these little, I don't know if they're holes or whatnot. These right here. But yeah, you got these holes going all the way around the ratchet. So I thought that that was interesting. Uh, yeah, I'm not sure what what the purpose is for having those holes around the ends of the ratchet but uh this gives the ratchet a different look here is your so here is the anvil as you can see there is just a slight bit of grease on the anvil itself and it does appear that there is an o-ring on the outside of this right here so it does come with an o-ring so the uh the head of the ratchet is sealed and then we get to the paw here uh it's a little bit different of a design here so this is something uh it's a little something newer here because uh stanley i think they changed their ratchet styles a little bit i guess i haven't seen this ratchet before but it does have this little little pin on one side that it, i guess it rotates on and then you got the uh where the uh, pawl, the selector switch, would go into either groove depending on which side it is. And it looks like you got one, two, three, 
four, five. So you got seven teeth of engagement, depending on which way it's sitting in the ratchet. And then the selector switch, I don't know if you guys can see that or not. It does got the single ball detent in the middle with the spring in it. So there's your ball detent, your spring. And your switch should just pop right on out, which it does. And there's no uh, ball or spring down inside the body of the ratchet. It's just the uh, just the paw itself. And the only thing really holding that in there is this O-ring. So uh, you're getting a good gasket and a seal on this O-ring. And when you, like I said, when you put this thing in there, this little this little notch it sits in there like this. So when you put it back together, you want to make sure you put it back in the same way. And I'm gonna add some super lube grease to this because. Uh, it's not a super coarse ratchet. I just want to try it out to see if it'll work. It is a 45, so it's it's in between. So it, uh, the super lube may work. I'm going to add, like I said, it does have a little tiny bit of grease in there, but we're just going to add a little extra to it just to see just to see if it uh, helps a little bit. Like As you can see in there, you really only see one little grease spot around where the anvil was sitting. Uh, the machine work, everything looks pretty much centered. It looks very good inside. Uh, and also, they also have the black oxide finish inside the ratchet as well. So, all right, guys, so let's go ahead and we can start putting this back together. So we can just drop our switch in and it snaps in because it's got a, that nice O-ring. And then you're going to go ahead. We're going to drop our detent back in. Uh, I'm going to add some oil probably to the uh, to the detent. Now, oh, here's our... There's our detent. I'm gonna add a little tiny bit of oil into just on the detent. I'm, I'm gonna add a uh, super lube to the uh, gear itself. And I'm just gonna work that around a little bit. Okay, and then like I said with the paw, you wanna have that little notch sticking out. And you uh when you eventually put it back in. We'll get the super lube and we'll just lubricate the anvil up on this. Just to see. Like I said, if it you know if it starts sticking or whatnot, we can just always just take it, take it back out, clean it off, and put it back in. It's not even that not that big of a deal, guys. You can uh go ahead and just try a couple different try just try out some different stuff with your uh, ratchets. You now you're just trying to See what you can get to uh, make them last longer. So any kind of uh, lubrication that uh, helps them operate a little bit better, I would definitely go ahead and go for it. But uh, this looks like it might be... All right. Let me try to switch this way. Yeah, and that's pretty, uh, pretty good engagement there. So that's good. Get a rag here. Then we'll drop our faceplate back on. Like I said, I really like the uh, the all black uh, finish on the ratchet with the uh, the, the, the cover plate kind of standing out a little bit just by uh, ha having some silver onto it, so it does have a little bit of a uh, little bit of color on it. Just in case you're working in an area where it's dark, or it could be really greasy, it could be uh, you know, it could, it could make it hard to see. So. Just go ahead and get the snap ring ready, and we'll drop our snap ring back inside. Push it down with our fingers. You hear it click in, so you know it's good connection. And it still sounds good both ways. And I will put a link up here in the description. Uh, these are on Amazon. I think they're around 50, 60 bucks, depending on where you get it from. It's not a super ex uh, expensive ratchet. Now, if you go to get the 90-tooth ratchets, they are a lot more expensive. But uh, these, uh, these are industrial-style ratchets. The teeth counts are a little bit lower because you don't really have to worry about the arc swing. Because you're usually uh, industrial. You're usually working in large er larger areas. You're not working under the hood of a car. So you should have a lot more access to rooms. So anyway, guys. That's it. That's it for this ratchet teardown. I hope this was enjoyable for everybody. I'm praying everybody has a blessed day. 
Uh, just stay safe and just uh, have, be good, guys. All right, guys. Thank you. And have a great evening.